welcome back to the channel guys welcome back to the another video and many of you guys were asking me about 18.7 that how 18.7 is going on so far on this device i am running ios 18.7 and i'm going to talk about how the day went how everything went over here so without any further delay well let's get jump into this video now i will be talking about the battery life and the performance i will be sharing everything and the timestamps are given in the you know below you can switch between the battery life or performance section if you want to so yeah let's begin this video i will get into the settings and do the battery stats now many of you people ask me that what is your battery health so my battery health is 77 percent so i i know i stop i should stop testing this out but i still want to test it out and as you can see over here this is the day when i was using i was 18.7 and if you if i show you if i'm able to show you you can see that the line is the graph is above 75 percent which means i use pretty much 80 percent you can consider it 80 percent and um for the 80 percent i got seven hours plus screen on time which is insane now during this time i was quite active on youtube as you can see three or plus on youtube then on threads around three r you know a lot of people are talking about i was 26 so i'm continuously using threads i'm using a lot and I also use it to shoot a video in 4K and that was like for Blackmagic app for 13 minutes. That is also, you know, insane. But if I conclude the battery life, I want to say battery life seems really much improved. It seems really good because 18.7 itself is not a feature full update. It's, it's an update based on enhancement, bug fixes and overall that stuff. So I can say battery life is really good and things are pretty decent over here. So I'm pretty much satisfied with the battery life. I have no issue when it comes to the battery life. Now I want to talk about the performance. So overall in terms of usage, I didn't face any sort of lag. Well, if I talk about the Geekbench score, I get into the settings over here. I got 1322 on a single core, while 2 in 1 for on a multi-core. Single core is higher than the average one. Multi-core is also higher than the average one as you can see definitely these are not the best score but they are actually a very decent score it's not a bad score it's a decent score i got even lower multi-core score as you can see on 18 but 6.1 so it seems a better score definitely i'm hoping it will get even 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 better in upcoming days because i was always take couple of days to get stable but overall in terms of usage i haven't faced any issue at all it is pretty cool Sometimes when I do this, it gives a bit of a lag. That is obvious because that is there for many iPhones. Um, but overall, other than that, performance is nice. Everything is nice. Things are working good. And, you know, I have no issue at all when it comes to the overall performance of this iOS 18.7. So, yeah, if I conclude this video, battery life is really good. Performance is also decent. I have no issue with that at all all right now the big question is which update should you install should you go for the ios 18.7 or should you go for the ios 26 now regarding that i will be bringing a video up very very soon in which i will be talking about that should you get to 18.7 for ios 26 so wait for that video hopefully that video will be coming a very very soon maybe today or later today or tomorrow i will try to bring that video a sap other than that that's this was just a smaller simple video and I hope to catch you guys in my next video. Until then, take care. Peace out.